neighboring areas. Rain started falling this afternoon. JMD, JMPD spokesperson Edna Mumunyane has described the situation on Johannesburg's roads as chaotic. Who is he that see it and it cometh to pass? When the Lord commanded it not, God is still speaking through his servant. Jesus is Lord. God still speaks. He is still in the business of directing the affairs of nations and kingdoms. In every nation and in every generation, God has appointed prophets for guidance, insight, and for wisdom. One of such prophets is Samuel Akimbaldoshe of the Freedom for All Nations Outreach, Pretoria, South Africa. On 12 November 2017, the Lord spoke through his oracle to reveal his mind concerning the African National Congress and the Republic of South Africa. Prophet Samuel Akimboloshe strongly warned that the African National Congress ANC, the ruling party in the country, should get it right by putting forward a male presidential candidate. He warned that it was not time yet for a female president of South Africa. And we pray for South Africa, we pray for ANC for this coming election. Father, we want a smooth running election without bloodshed. We ask that let the angels of peace enter and let the right person be chosen in the name of Jesus. Amen. ANC will not choose a bad leader anymore. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord God Almighty will descend himself to all the branches of ANC to cooperate together and choose the heart of God as a leader in the name of Jesus. A man of God's heart will come forth and lead the nation of South Africa in the upcoming election in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you want peace in South Africa, shout the amen louder. Amen. South Africa, pray, pray, pray. Woman will a woman will rise to lead South Africa, but not in this current situation. The oracle has spoken. I don't know, that's what God said to me. A woman like Deborah will come. But I'm not seeing the woman in this current situation. Again on Sunday, 17 December 2017, during the worship service, Prophet Samuel Akimbolishi prophesied and declared that Comrade Siri Ramaphosa is the anointed man to lead South Africa. There is much more to come, South Africa. The Oracle of God prophesied that Siri Ramaphosa will rule South Africa for 12 years, beginning from 2018. manipulation that can bring set back to South Africa in this election that is going on now are you ready to pray yes sir say oh Lord oh Lord can we bind our hands together uh. as an agreement let's bind our hands together it's an agreement Say, oh Lord, oh Lord, as a church, as a church, we bind any evil manipulation. We, we bind, bind any evil, evil manipulation, manipulation in ANC, in ANC that can bring set back to South Africa. That can bring set back to South in the name of Jesus. Name of Open Jesus. your mouth and pray. Lord, Lord Jesus, I'm asking you, Father, have mercy. Upon the nation of South Africa, Lord, have mercy upon the nation of South Africa. Any evil manipulation, Heavenly Father. And as you have spoken to us, Father, we are asking you take over this election. Amen. Expose every evil manipulation. Amen. Let the mind of people connect to your mind. Amen. Let your purpose for South Africa never go down to drain. Amen. Fight for this nation, O oh Lord. Amen. And let there be peace. Amen. Let South Africa be restored back again. Amen. Make South Africa a leading nation among nations. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we know that you cannot ignore the cry of your children. 
do what you can do that is best in heaven that can suit us on earth thank you blessed savior in the name of jesus in jesus name Amen. can we clap for master jesus this is the line of god this is the mind of jehovah this is the mind of jehovah this is from apostle on the seat Can we clap for Ramaphosa? God is still speaking. If ANC want to follow the mind of God, the time of woman to lead, to lead this country is still coming. But God said to me that if Ramaphosa can be able to obey his voice and humble himself and worship him alone in fear he will rule this country for 12 years yeah. starting from 2018 we finish unfinished journey and complete his journey and complete his journey South Africa will be better again. Amen. That's not all. South Africa will be better again. The country will be so prosperous again that the rand will compete strongly against dollar. South Africa will go back to that time where dollar six, uh, six rounds, five rounds, seven rounds. Ah. Whoa! Hallelujah! We bless the name of the Lord Jesus. The prophecy is unfolding already. At the 54th ANC convention in 2017, Siri Ramaphosa emerged the new president of the ANC. I will start with the spoiled ballots for the position of deputy president. We had three spoiled ballots and four abstentions. And the distribution of votes is as follows. Comrade Ngosazana Damini Zuma received 2261 votes. And Comrade Cyril Ramaphosa received 2440 votes. We declare Comrade Cyril Ramaphosa as the new president of the African National Congress. May I request Comrade Cyril Ramaphosa to come to the stage, please. On 12 November 2017, the Lord spoke through his oracle to reveal his mind concerning the African National Congress and the Republic of South Africa. Prophet Samuel Lakimboloshi strongly warned that the African National Congress ANC, the ruling party in the country, should get it right by putting forward a male presidential candidate. He warned that it was not time yet for a female president of South Africa. Again on Sunday, 17 December 2017, during the worship service, Prophet Samuel Akimbolishi prophesied and declared that Comrade Siri Ramaphosa is the anointed man to lead South Africa. The hand of the Lord is upon South Africa. It is time for the leadership and the people of South Africa to humbly submit themselves to the Lord God Almighty. God is ready and willing to make this nation join the League of Great Nations.
Congratulations, South Africa. Congratulations. A prophet is a vessel of God, an important tool that God uses for his people on earth. The validity of a true man of God it is in the word that he has spoken coming into manifestation, just as how God has said it through him. Job 23, 28 says, Thou shalt decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy way. And God said, He would do nothing without revealing his secret to his prophets. On Sunday, 26th of June, 2016, the Oracle of God, Brother Samuel Akibodushe, through the manifestation of the Spirit of God, prophesied about the America election. These were his words. Let's pray for America. After election, let's pray that God should have mercy on America. If Trump enter, and the seat I'm seeing is for Trump. The seat I'm seeing is for Trump. The seat I'm seeing is for Trump. And if Trump enter, if God did not show mercy on America, if Trump enter, hey, now hello. Do you know why? There are some set of people I'm seeing. They have been trained because of Trump. They have been well trained because of Trump. The only way that what they have been trained for can not manifest is when there is a change of position. And I'm saying the truth. I'm saying the truth. Heaven is my witness. I deliver the message, and I don't know. And please, every member of Freedom for All Nations, use your social network to tell people, spread everything we are seeing here. I mean, I must admit, I'm by nature a cynic, and, and I was kind of depressed. I was really worried. This is... I guess God is giving us a little forgiveness for how decadent and depraved America has become. And, and Donald Trump can now lead us in the right direction. Who is it that see it, and it cometh to pass, when the Lord commanded it not? God is still speaking through his servant. Jesus is the Lord. A prophet is a vessel of God, an important tool that God uses for his people on earth. The validity of a true man of God, it is in the word that he has spoken, coming into manifestation, just as how God has said it through him. A few months ago, precisely on the 1st of January 2020, Prophet Samuel Akinbuduja delivered the mind of God about the nations of Africa and around the globe. He particularly said that he saw two African presidents taking an exit from power. He saw people crying and wearing black. Let us take a look at the prophecy. This one, I pray about it, but I could not see anything before. I woke up from my vision and after I prayed, I could not see anything. Two African presidents will shockingly take their exit from power and I ask, is it unto death or impeachment or what happened? I got no answer. But they look for them they could not get hold of them. Do they disappear? Where did they went to? And why their people are crying? Let's pray. The government of the Republic of Burundi in a statement said the unexpected death of Pion Gurunziza occurred on Monday 8th June at the Karusi 50th anniversary hospital following a cardiac arrest. Just weeks after a crucial election to choose a successor to replace him after 15 years of presidency over the Central African nation, 
President Pierre Nkurunziza died at age 55. In news just in, Burundi's president, Pierre Nkurunziza, has died. The government of the Republic of Burundi, in a statement, said the unexpected death of Nkurunziza occurred at the Karusi 50th Anniversary Hospital following a cardiac arrest. For more on the story now, let us cross via Skype to ICBC News East Africa correspondent Sarah Kimani, joining us live from Nairobi, Kenya. Sarah, good afternoon to you. Thank you so much for coming through. So the government has indeed confirmed the passing of the president, and we understand it's due to cardiac arrest but this happened yesterday already yes indeed um, the government of Burundi in a statement released uh, a few minutes ago has confirmed that uh, President Pyong Kurunzin the outgoing president of Burundi uh, passed on yesterday uh, while receiving treatment in hospital in the capital Bujumbura um, the, 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 the report uh, further indicates that uh, he had actually uh, watched uh, a volleyball match in his village of Ngozi on Sunday and then on Sunday night is when he was taken ill and he was taken to the hospital. Um, they say that uh, he suffered a cardiac arrest on Monday. They have however not said uh, if he had any underlying ailments or there was any other uh, treatment that he was receiving before uh, this cardiac arrest. Mm. Thank you so much for that update. Our SABC News correspondent live from Nairobi, Kenya. As Prophet Samuel Akin Bodisha said, let us pray. Let us continue praying for the African leaders and for peace to reign in Africa. Freedom for all nations outreach raising a greater generation a prophet is a vessel of god an important tool that god uses for his people on earth the validity of a true man of god it is in the word that he has spoken coming into manifestation just as how god has said it through him and um, tell our president that this is not the right time to reshuffle if we do it, it will mess up the whole city. I mean, the whole nation. If you are close to Jacob Zuma, tell him that I said the reshuffle that he's planning to do, he must suspend it. If we do it now, it will cause him. In fact, it may be what we cause is quick removal. So, if you still want to sit on that seat, you must suspend the shuffle. If you do the reshuffle of cabinet now, the man will go. And I'm saying my own now. He must, if you want to put it on Facebook, put it on anywhere, and tell them, if Zuma do the shuffle, then he must get ready to leave the city. I hear the voice of God. I hear the voice of God. Tell Mr. President again that one, two, three that he wants to remove is dangerous. One, two, three. Want to remove and bring one, a rip and bring another chicken and bring another house rabbit they must he must make sure he leave it for now because december will tell who january will bring forth please if you understand my proverb Pass it across. Be better. Yeah. I'm seeing a shift in the South African leadership, government leadership. Amen. I'm seeing a shift. I'm seeing somebody saying thank you for all these years and I'm seeing somebody being welcome and said come and finish the rest <laughs> I 
I'm saying this is the mind of Jehovah. This is the mind of Jehovah. This is the mind of Jehovah. This is Ramaphosa on the seat. This is the line of God. Can we clap for Ramaphosa? God is still speaking. If ANC want to follow the mind of God, the time of woman to lead, to lead this country is still coming. But God said to me that if Ramaphosa can be able to obey his voice and humble himself and worship him alone in fear, he will rule this country for 12 years. Starting from 2018. We finish unfinished journey and complete his journey and complete his journey. South Africa will be better again. Amen. Please, if you have a pen and a paper, this time to write down the prophecy for the year 2018. The second prophecy in the list of my prophetic book is this. The first quarter of the year 2018 hmm, in South Africa will be politically tense and be shaken because God wants to cause a divine sh change but there are going to be a shaking politically and some people will be removed for God to carry out his agenda that is for South Africa and if the leaders of parties are not careful and seek for the face of God in the first quarter of the year 2018 for the right decision they may collapse the economy of the land I'm still talking about South Africa in the same first quarter of the year in South Africa I'm seeing a shift in the presidency level because the seat is shaking in my revelation and I see the seat making a well-known man to fall for somebody to take over and trouble may follow thereafter and this will happen in the first quarter of the year I have therefore come to the decision to resign as President of the Republic with immediate effect. Our reporter Criselda Lewis, she is currently at Nuor, the taxi rank in Johannesburg CBD. Chris, a very, very good morning to you. Thank you so much for coming through. Now, talk to us about uh, the feeling of ordinary South Africans about President Jacob Zuma's resignation. <laughs> Well, a very good morning to you, Palisa. South Africans are waking up this morning after that late night address by uh, President Jacob Zuma, who has now resigned. And I was, would be expected, you know, uh, many sentiments are being shared on the streets, not just here in Johannesburg, but around the country. And we've seen all of this news being beamed around the world. So it's by no surprise this morning that all the newspapers in South Africa do have that as the lead story. This one saying to find and in defeat that's just one of them let me take a page to the next to the next uh, newspaper I'll try to manage this one of the other newspapers as well says uh, finally Zuma falls and uh, the other as well let me have a look says uh, going 
going gone. Well, South Africans, uh, most of them, in fact, say they've been in waiting and anticipation for this moment. Let's hear from some of them now on what that sentiment is. Let's join Prakop now, who almost everybody knows. Prakop, you wake up this morning, President Jacob Zuma has resigned. What is your feeling? I am so happy because this man is too controversial for my liking. He drove ANC down, he drove our economy down, and thanks God he's gone, because since he's been in office, nothing works in South Africa. Thank God he's gone. Uh, Prakop, you know, South Africa is looking uh, to a new dawn now. There will be a new president of the country. Yeah. What would you say is the first things that the president needs to do in order for to restore confidence, I guess, once again in South Africa and our abilities? The president has to stamp out corruption wherever it exists. In the ANC, wherever, in the PAC, wherever there's corruption, the president must stamp it out. Because our people are suffering and we can't afford to have, you know, our leaders being corrupt. Please, President, stamp out corruption so we can look after our people who are suffering, who live in poverty. Thank you. Thank you very much, Prakop. Let's come uh, to one of the other sentiments as well. Sabona Mama, Ufugekseni Namshanje, O President Jacob Zuma, Ustalele Izoloba, Yena, he's stepping down from office. When Akka Ufugekseni Sisu Zivaganjani, Gale Atreska, President Jacob Zuma. Make it a bill of all of President Zuma at Uilehovan, but Wabangata have a say. A reluctant announcement from an embattled president. I have therefore come to the decision to resign as president of the republic with immediate effect. Even though I disagree with the decision of, my, of the leadership of my organization, I have always been a disciplined member of the ANC. It came with just me. hours before Parliament was due to vote in a motion of no confidence against Jacob Zuma. President's hand may have been forced, but Zuma says his party did not give reasons why he should resign. If you are close to Jacob Zuma, tell him that I said the reshuffle that is planning to do, he must suspend it. If he do it now, it will cause him. In fact, it may be what we cause is quick removal. Uh, there are no further nominations. Only one candidate has been nominated, namely. The Honorable Matame Cyril Ramaphosa. The nomination is in order. Accordingly, in terms of item five of part A of schedule three to the constitution, I declare the Honorable Matame Cyril Ramaphosa duly elected president of the Republic of South Africa. This is the mind of Jehovah. This is the mind of Jehovah. This is the mind of Jehovah. This is Ramaphosa on the seat. This is the line of God. But God said to me that if Ramaphosa can be able to obey his voice and humble himself and worship him alone in fear, he will rule this country for 12 years. Starting from 2018, we finish unfinished journey and complete his journey and complete his journey. Only can we clap for Ramaphosa? A prophet is a vessel of God, an important tool that God uses for his people on earth. The validity of a true man of God that is in the word that he has spoken coming into manifestation just as how God has said it through him.
South Africa should be careful of borrowing money to avoid future crisis and slavery. South Africa should be careful of borrowing money to avoid future crisis and slavery. And slavery. Crisis and slavery. If you can reach Mr. President or anyone in charge, please let them aware of this. Because I'm saying that more money will be borrowing and at the end of the day, it can turn South Africa to be a slavery country. South Africa should be careful of borrowing money to avoid future crisis and slavery. We are now embarking on the second phase of our economic response to stabilize the economy, address the extreme decline in supply and demand, and to protect jobs. As part of this phase, we are announcing this evening a massive social and economic support package of 500 billion rand, which amounts to about 10% of our GDP. Indeed, the economy will never be the same again. Uh, the president uh, speaking with a hopeful tone tonight, though, saying that our government will implement structural reforms, will go ahead at re-engineering this economy to make it even better uh, for the future. He was talking about a new economy for a new global reality, saying that the lockdown will eventually end. Uh, the, these measures that South Africa needs to take will eventually end. Uh, how do we look at then? South Africa should be careful of borrowing money to avoid future crisis and slavery and slavery crisis and slavery if you can reach mr president or anyone in charge please let them aware of this because i'm saying that more money will be borrowing and at the end of the day it can turn south africa to be a slavery country a slavery country so um, Zwaya, half a trillion rand uh, in a range of uh, sort of economic measures. This is significant. Just remind us of, of some of the details of what he announced tonight. Well, Francis, this is absolutely massive. Uh, it's uh, the 10 percent of the country's GDP. And I think uh, he's following on what other countries have been doing. Uh, you'd remember very well, Francis, that uh, the United States uh, as well uh, earlier on announced a $2 trillion injection into the economy, so which was 10%. And I think they've done the same thing here. So this massive social assistance, uh, uh, Francis, will touch a range of issues. If you can reach... Mr. President or anyone in charge, please let them aware of this. Because I'm saying that more money will be borrowing and at the end of the day, it can turn South Africa to be a slavery country. A slavery country. A prophet is a vessel of God, an important tool that God uses for his people on earth. The validity of a true man of God it is in the word that he has spoken coming into manifestation, just as how God has said it through him. Christians should pray. I heard that we should pray more. Against attacks on churches in 2020. I saw while I was praying, asking God for his for his mind for 2020, and God showed me and I saw where Christians are running here and there I thought is 
the end time that God said to me, no, these are my people that are under attack. Go and tell their brethren to pray. So I see more attacks on churches. Judgment has been released already. Against those who have allowed themselves to be used against God's work in manipulating things and make it real as if it's real. Fake Christian leaders will also be exposed and their magic power and the source of their magic power will come open to the world to see starting from the first quarter of the year 2020 please write it down i saw a burning bush in my revelation that god showed me and i thought i'm seeing a burning bush like moses but at the same time i hear a voice saying that it's not a burning bush of moses it's an ambush against africa Let's pray for Africa so that Africa will not be ambushed. Let's pray against earthquake in Africa, Asia, that can be worse than ever. Let's pray for South African airways against national money. What I mean in the name of Jesus, I have prayed about this, but I want you to join me in prayers so that what has never happened will not happen. Let's pray for South African Airways. I saw a prominent Airways, respectful Airway, the safest Airway on earth, and I'm asking, why are they mourning? Let's pray. South Africa should be careful of borrowing money to avoid future crisis and slavery. If you can reach Mr. President or anyone in charge, please let them aware of this. Because I'm saying that more money will be borrowing and at the end of the day, it can turn South Africa to be a slavery country. another political party will come on in 2020 and this one will be more effective more opposed more dangerous more fast grown than DA and EFF and they will oppose ANC to the core Number nine, it will be more tougher for politicians in South Africa and in the world at large in 2020. Let's start praying for peace. Let's pray for Mr. President, the President of Federal Republic of South Africa, against another attempt over his life. Let's pray. But now the Lord said I should tell you that the man that is ruling you is appointed by him and they want to use him for you. same time there will be a lot of attempt over his life let all the Christians gather together to pray for the man to live long because if the people of Botswana can pray I see good things rising above bad things that have been happening in that country in the year 2020 
I saw greens, greens, greens in the nation of Namibia and I look why everywhere is green and God said to me that farmers in Namibia we enjoy in 2020. Let's pray against war in Nigeria. to pray before but I can't control myself and I prayed and what I saw is a bit shocking and I heard a voice saying until Nigeria listening to my voice and allow you that I have appointed to rule the predicament of the nation will not stop A prophet is a vessel of God, an important tool that God uses for his people on earth. The validity of a true man of God, it is in the word that he has spoken, coming into manifestation, just as how God has said it.